What's up guys? If you're struggling to install WordPress or think you need to hire someone to do it, don't. Today we're going to install WordPress ourselves super easily using HostGator where I've been a customer for almost 10 years now. And at the end, I'm going to show you a quick introduction to Krista's blog and Hi there. <laughs> show you the perfect blog post to write that she already published. You can steal her ideas. All right, so let's jump in. We're going to do this with a viewer in mind who probably doesn't have much time in their day. That's pretty much everyone, and we'll try to do it with less talking so that we can just get the job done. Of course, you can always move back in the video if you miss a step, but we'll cover everything. So once you're here at HostGator, you can check out all their nice services, but the cheapest way to install WordPress is just by clicking web hosting. You might think it's WordPress hosting we want, but that's actually a slightly more expensive deluxe package that comes with a bunch of stuff bundled in, um, and I like to figure out how to do all that on my own and for the dirt cheap option, so that's web hosting. So click web hosting, and you're gonna see the three buckets at HostGator. The hatchling plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. The business plan is just gonna be too expensive for us right now, so the best move is to choose between hatchling or baby. These two plans are the same, the only difference is with the hatchling plan, you get to host one website or blog, in your little virtual storage home online. And the baby plan lets you host or set up multiple domains, AKA multiple websites. So if you buy mini domains from GoDaddy, you can put them all at the baby plan at HostGator. And it does cost a little more, but as you grow in website making and blog making, you might want to upgrade to it. So if that's the case, you can just start with Hatchling and then get the baby plan later on. That's exactly what I ended up doing. That's right. Now all HostGator plans also come with a free SSL certificate. So when you make a blog or website, you can ask me how to set up that secure padlock icon, which makes people a lot more comfortable entering in their credit card, making purchases, and generally being on your website. So once you decide you want the hatchling plan or the baby plan, we can look at the price. Hatchling is starting at 275 and baby is starting at 395 And that's with a standard HostGator coupon that they offer you. Now, I can get you a better discount than that with a better coupon. To get that, you just have to go to hostgator.com forward slash my name, just Greg, G-R-E-G, -E and hit enter. And just by doing that, you'll see you get the better discount. That's actually the best discount available. And you can see it jumps to 62% and the price drops to 2.64 as opposed to 2.75 and 60%. You get the exact same amazing hosting plans going through this window. It just saves you a little time getting you to the screen and locking in the discount. And if you see the name of my blog up there, Dear Blogger, you know you're in the right place. All right, so for the sake of the tutorial, we're gonna get the Hatchling plan. That's the one that we recommend here. Let's do it. Just click Buy Now. All right, and here you are in the HostGator order form. You're in the right place. So I'm just gonna walk you through step one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we'll purchase our hosting and our domain name, and then we'll set up WordPress. So in step one, we're just gonna enter in your domain name. That would be a new domain name that you wanna get where we're gonna install your blog. So you can get your domain name that has a .com or you can get your domain name that has a different extension if you want, if that one's not available. The reason this one isn't available is because I already bought it and we're gonna go ahead and make a slight modification. If you can't get your domain name, you can just try like using your name. So your name.com is always a good option, super professional, and you can basically run any sort of niche business from your name.com, or you can go ahead and put on an extension and you can usually get your name plus a keyword. That will almost always work. All right, so just a few tips to get the best domain name. Sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Chocolate. So crinkly. <laughs> If instead you have a domain name from somewhere like GoDaddy or Namecheap that you bought already, just pop in, I already own this domain name, and write in whatever you want to use. If you do that, I have a link for you in the video notes on how to change your name servers to the HostGator name servers, which connects your domain to your hosting. That's just one additional step you need to do if you already own this domain and you want to use a domain you already own. But to keep it simple and keep everything at HostGator, we'll register a new one. All right, so then we're gonna uncheck domain privacy protection. It's a little extra cost, and I generally trust people because I think my name and email and phone number are probably available for free online if someone really wants them. So I don't usually like paying for that, but up to you. 
In step two, we gotta choose our hosting plan. So we already chose Hatchling, that looks good. And now it's the important step of choosing the billing cycle. So how long do you want your hosting for? Well, we can see with our awesome coupon here, we get 50% off and then it gets a little better and a little sweeter even at 36 months for 62% off. Like I said, I've had hosting for almost 10 years, so I should have got this one on day one. It would have been cheaper per month and I would have saved more, but my first order was for a 12 month package and that sort of was a sweet spot giving me enough time to learn how to blog and how to use WordPress. So that's a great option. Um, or you could just do one month. HostGator is really nice. They offer a discount even for that short term period for one month because they want you to save money whenever you can and not have to buy the larger packages. So we're just going to go one month um, just so we're not locked in here. Then we're going to pop in a username and a security pin. And we're gonna scroll down and enter in your billing info, just like you would at Apple, Uber, Airbnb, Amazon, wherever you shop. All right, so I'll get that done quickly and I'm just gonna block that out so you can't go on a shopping spree with my credit card. Next, you can choose credit card or PayPal if that works better for you. Maybe you're an international user and I just like going with credit card to get those points. The CVV code is what's on the back of your card and then go ahead and pop in the expiration date don't worry about the tax exemption ID, and we're done with step three. Next in step four, we're just gonna uncheck the additional services. You can always have the HostGator 24 7, 365 support. Add them if you want later on, so right now we can just keep it on a budget. And we're gonna scroll down to step five, and because we used my special hostgator.com slash Greg link, we already have the best coupon locked in. And we can see by the green check mark, it's already been validated. So what do we get for that coupon? Well, we can see that we not only get 50% off our hosting, it was originally 1095 and we got it 50% off down to 547. They even let us keep that extra penny. And we get a domain name discount, which is super cool. That's better than even GoDaddy offers. So instead of the $15 per year standard price, we get that domain in our first year for just 599. Those totals, 599 and 547, combine to equal the 1181 we pay. You don't really need to look at these numbers in between if you don't want. It's these two and the bottom one that are obviously important. And then there's also the tax. I'm just doing the math in my head and 599 and 547 don't quite make 1181. You got that tax in there too. And, and that's unfortunate. That's just life. The good news is if you blog or make websites for part of your business, this can all be written off. So the amount you actually pay it will be less. All right, so that's what you get for using the coupon. I am a registered partner of HostGator, so if you use the coupon and or my link and sign up to HostGator, I'll earn a small credit from HostGator at no cost to you. The cost to you will actually be less because you get a better discount. So I just wanted to let you know that. Thanks so much if you can use my coupon and link. It's just one of the ways that YouTubers can provide tutorials and blog content and how-to for free for everyone. So thanks so much for your support. All right, let's double check what our order gets us. We get the 24-7, 365 phone, live chat, email support for free, instant account activation for free. You get the 45-day money back guarantee. We're also going to register our domain name, obviously, and our hatchling plan. And as we discussed, this is our total. Let me know any questions about the pricing or about any step in this process below in the comments. Once you're happy with your order, like I am right here, we can go ahead and just check this box. And now we can click check out now together and we can complete our domain and hosting order by clicking check out now together at the bottom of the swamp here. All right, so let's do it. All right, so you're now done registering your domain name, registering hosting, and next we can install WordPress. You should see this screen saying welcome to the HostGator fam. Congratulations, so you're part of the fam, I got my coffee, things are looking up. So the next step to install WordPress is just to click on hosting at the top here. Next, you just wanna click on the WordPress icon where it says get started with WordPress today. If it says WordPress one click installation or even quick install for you, it's the same thing, just click on that and we'll set up WordPress. Now on the screen, we need to select domain for installation. So let's click on the drop down menu and you might just have one domain, but I have a few going right here. So just choose wherever you want to install WordPress. Then leave this directory box totally blank. Don't write anything in here. And of course, we're not going to fall for the Let It Pro Do It For You option. We're going to do it ourselves and save a ton of money. And then click Next. Now we just need to enter in your blog title. So that's ideally just your domain name. 
without the .com and your user, which will be your WordPress username. If you write a blog post or several blog posts, it'll say by whatever you write here. So I would recommend not writing in like tennis fan 992 or halo master or whatever your old screen name was or something. Keep this simple and professional and you'll be happy later on. Then just enter in your first name, last name, and your email. So get that email right, WordPress will email you your login details to that email. Now we just need to check these boxes, and now it's time to do all the fancy coding work like HTML, JavaScript, PHP, CSS, C++, Python. Just kidding, we don't need to know any of that because HostGator's WordPress installation marketplace does all that WordPress backend setup for us. So all you need to do to get WordPress going is just click install. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do it together. All right. That was quick. So it says installation complete and you have your installation details right here. What I recommend doing right away is just copying these details. And I'm just going to paste those into that notepad just in case you lose them for some reason. All right, guys, so now that you've installed WordPress, we can go to our emails and open up the install complete email from the HostGator marketplace. This will have our new WordPress login information. And if you give your WordPress site maybe 10 to 20 minutes, all your files should settle into place. And now you can click on your admin URL and log in with your username and password. If you don't see your login screen right away, it's just because things are still settling in. Like I said, maybe you'll see a landing page at HostGator or something like that. And if you got your domain name somewhere other than HostGator, like GoDaddy, for example, now is the time to log into GoDaddy and enter in your two HostGator name servers at GoDaddy and hit save. Of course, I'll leave you a link on how to do that below the video. And again, that is a mandatory step to connect your domain name to your new hosting and WordPress if you got your domain name somewhere other than HostGator. Those two name servers, by the way, can be found in the HostGator.com your account info email, and they just look like this first name server and this second name server. All right, but because we got our domain name and our hosting at HostGator, we don't need to do this step. We can go ahead and log into WordPress right now. All right, so let's click on our new admin URL right here. And if you wanna just write it into your browser, you would just write in your domain name.com forward slash wp-admin. That's just how we all do it and hit enter. And it should take you to the login screen. All right, so now let's log in with our username and password. We'll hit remember me and we're also gonna bookmark this link so it saves us time in the future. And log in. And voila, we have our beautiful WordPress dashboard here. Big warm welcome to WordPress if it is your first time. And for some reason, if we click on our site title in the upper left, we have all sorts of content ready for us like a video and a button, a quote, and the whole site just looks complete and super friendly like a new home. So how do we do this? Well, we made this video and we made this website in a past YouTube video. So that's just our video called How to Make a WordPress Website at GoDaddy 2019. And uh, yeah, that's how to make this complete website. Now that you have your own WordPress blog or website up, you can just skip forward in that video if you want to the point where we log into WordPress, take a tour of our dashboard, make an about page, make a contact page, and make it all come to life if you want. Or you can hop onto any one of our other mini free WordPress tutorials. All right, so your site will not look like this right away, but if you put a couple hours work into it, you can have it look like this, no problem. So I'm gonna leave you with that little teaser here. Anyone who knows me from previous videos knows I'd rather make a complete website for you, but this was supposed to be a shorter video. So just wanna inspire you with everything you can do with WordPress as a total beginner. Without any code, you can do all of this, all right? And especially, you should check out Constant Contact and make an email subscription form like this from day one onwards. That way, anyone who visits your site can become an email subscriber. You can quote unquote build your list as they say. You can deliver them ebooks and newsletters, and that way your business can grow and become more profitable and basically never run out of marketing options because you have such a community at your fingertips. So. That's the site you could make. I'm going to show you Krista's blog now because Krista was the intro cameo of the video. So you can find that at dear, not blogger, but traveler.com. Dear Traveler is a domain name we got on, I believe, afternick.com for a sale. 
You should never pay the price they ask for because they will basically ask for too much, but they want to sell it. So we got a deal and we made a blog and it looks just like the site we were just looking at because we made it with Astra and one of their starter site templates. Only thing is, this is a real blog and you get real shots of Krista and us going to hotels, going on hikes that were like way too hard for us. And the coolest post I want to show you, which you can complete yourself, is a top hotels post in Hawaii. So this was really pretty, um, you know, exhaustive to make, but now it's getting us a lot of traffic. And we didn't even need to compare a ton of hotels. We just gave people the top two best hotels to save them time. So it's sort of like a good title, the best hotels in Oahu where we were, but it also saves some time in one. And we made this collage on PicMonkey. And then you just dive in and you start writing from personal experience. Made that gallery with Enviro Gallery from uh, WP Beginner. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out the blog, you can learn all about our little adventures. Again, all this was in Oahu, we totally recommend it go to Hawaii, then we'd be happy to be your virtual guides um, and tell you everything cool. So that's how it works at the blog. We're going to have more posts coming up. Another post you could write is called Travel Hacks. I think we have one on that. Maybe not. Maybe we don't have it yet. Oh, that's it, Dear Blogger. Okay, so a second good post would be Travel Hacks because Obviously, everyone's trying to hack different parts of their life now. In other words, make it better, freer, do it ways that no one thought of. So here's another option if you can't think of a blog post to write. And yes, that is a real breakfast, and that's nothing what my breakfast looked like on a daily basis. But take us back, as they say. All right, guys, so that does it for this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching and learning how to install WordPress at HostGator. I will take you back there where we began. In case you want to start up a live chat or get to know more of their features and services, we've really just scratched the surface as to what HostGator can do for you and your new WordPress blog or website. Please make sure to hit like on the video. I'll love you forever. And that's a really free way of saying thanks if you learn anything and telling the world that this video is worth trying out. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to comment too. I'm here every day, nine to five answering questions. That's a total joke. I'm here like at the most random hours ever, but you can probably catch me within a few hours of commenting and I can help out with whatever you're working on. And uh, yeah, please make sure to share the video with friends who want to learn how to use WordPress as well. Thanks so much for watching guys because it was really fun making this for you. I'm Greg Narayan and I'll talk to you soon.